Chapter 9 is about periodic properties of the elements. And here's a quote from Isaac Asimov, who writes science fiction novels. Beginning students of chemistry often think of the science as a mere collection of disconnected data to be memorized by brute force. Not at all. Just look at it properly and everything hangs together and makes sense. And it is true. It can take a lot of work to look at it properly, to get enough understanding so that you can look at it and see how it all hangs together. When you get to that point, it's, it's actually really amazing. I skipped section 9.1. I don't remember why, but I'm not going to test you on it. I would encourage you to read it, though. So Dimitri, Mend Dimitri Mendeleev um, is often given credit for creating the first uh, periodic table. And he did this by ordering the elements in, uh, by atomic mass. And um, we've talked about this before. That led to the periodic law. When elements are arranged in order of increasing atomic mass, certain properties recur periodically. Hence the name of the table, periodic table. And he used his pat the patterns there to predict undiscovered elements. There are some places where atomic mass did not fit in with the other properties. An example is tellurium and iodine. If we look up here on the periodic table, tellurium has a mass of 127.6 and iodine is 126.9. So by mass, iodine should come before tellurium. But by properties, it belongs after. And so we later found out that atomic mass was not the correct ordering principle. Mendeleev did an amazing job of predicting um, missing elements from the table. You can look at those in your spare time. So the periodic law allows us to predict what the properties of an element are based on its position, but it doesn't explain why. That's why it's a law and not a theory. Quantum mechanics is a theory, and it explains why those property trends exist. When we know why, then we can predict what. And so theories are much more powerful. <clears throat>